Dancers from several indigenous groups perform together to show solidarity between peoples across Taiwan. And with that, the Amis Music Festival begins. The decade-old festival began by celebrating the music and culture of the indigenous Amis Adoran community, but has grown over the years. Not just Amis people, but other indigenous groups also put on their traditional garb to join the event. The festival is normally held in November, but it was pushed forward this year to avoid the northeastern monsoon. Held right before Taiwan's National Day, the organizers say people like the coincidence. The Amis Music Festival sits on Adoran's sacred land, Batsifilan, which lies in between mountains and sea in the eastern county of Taidong. For years, the indigenous Amis Adoran tribe has objected to a plan to build tourist accommodation on this land. They declared this area as part of their traditional territory in 2017 and say they're determined to safeguard their autonomy. During the festival, the flag of the Adora nation can be seen all over the town. The performances are mostly by indigenous people, and vendors are limited to selling indigenous-themed products. To the Adolan, the festival lays the foundation for the autonomy they hope for. The festival has also become an important space for the Adoran community to preserve their culture. This dance is about an Amis community upbringing. Amis people have an age hierarchy system for public affairs. Older people lead the young, and at the festival, young girls are given the task of performing a dance. A young leader says it's a way to help the younger generation feel better about living in remote areas. Having suffered generations of injustice by ruling parties, Taiwan's indigenous people are working to regain representation of themselves. And at the Amis Music Festival, they are showing not just their music and culture, but also the independence they desire. Kamashi, Simonetta Ho, and Eugene Huang for Taiwan Plus.